off the shores of Florida, Discovery Family Channel, along with the University of Miami Rosenstiel School of Marine and Atmospheric Science, join forces to tag, study, and release the sea's most notorious predator, the shark. Come along as we interact with these magnificent creatures to better understand their environment. So the first thing that we do when we capture a shark is that we put in the water our special platform that allows us to quickly, carefully, and gently bring the shark up out of the water where it's easier and faster for us to work up. This is a nurse shark. We measure the shark with a tape measure along several points of their body to see how their body shape changes as they grow, gives us an idea of their health and their growth rates. FL 160. I got FL on EPPL. 140. After that, we take a small tissue sample from the fin, and we do that where there's no blood supply, no nerve supply, kind of just like this elastic protein that's similar to your nail. And what we do is we take a small little fin clip, and we then take that, put that in a vial, and use it for later processing. I need the mallet. Next, we take a tag, which has a unique barcode that we can then identify that animal if we capture it again, or if someone else captures it. Ross, move your hand there. Okay, you hold it there. We'll do this together. Give okay, it rotate it and pull it out. Pull it. Yeah, now Give read that number if you can. Three, eight, one, four, five, four. Excellent job. And Good work, guys. Now, Brenda's going to get some blood here. We're going to look for reproductive hormones to see if she's pregnant, looking at stable isotopes to see her diet. We carefully remove the hook from the shark's mouth. And it's not a normal hook. This is called a circle hook. And it's designed so it doesn't hurt the shark. All right, guys, we're going to release this shark. Oh, there it goes. Great job. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We have more fascinating facts coming up on Shark Days of Summer.